Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's Alakazam Alakazam he doing? Oh, he's playing yeah. Fancy Fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha. <laughs> I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. Yeah. Ah, there's nothing like a good day to remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, Susie? Sure do! Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird! But you're a bird disguised as a bird! When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop! Holes are dangerous! You don't know what's down there! Fine! What are you guys doing? Watching, Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You can get hurt! Or worse, really hurt. What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't <laughs> need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Alakazam, Alakazir. Whoa. Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh. <laughs> You don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! <laughs> 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 which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again! Cake! <laughs> hey, <laughs> is this your bunny? Yep, her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? <gasps> well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do, make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. Elf! <laughs> Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're going to have the best day ever. We got a rescuer. Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming back? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's got to stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless. We're so close, I can almost taste it. <laughs> it tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys. No time to sleep. We're coming for you, Eugenie. <laughs> No, she can't. They're tossing her around. Yo, my baby sister's in danger. She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly. Well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny. You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers. Oh, aren't you the cutest? I could hug you all day. So fluffy. <laughs> if Sam could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself. You guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, 
so cute. Wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Hugh Genie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're gonna kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody oh, in? Great. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy. Except for this locked fence. And humans everywhere. <laughs> what do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates. Arr, Eugenie. Let's dig for treasure. Arr. Huh? Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home. It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh no! Is she yeah. in a tree? You need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Susie, check it out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady. Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Alfie's nice. Mm, that's a lot to remember, but I'll try. Elfie must have given Eugenie a head injury, because that's crazy talk! That's the last straw! We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. <laughs> Shh! Hey, Bush! Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're gonna blow our cover. What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yay! Welcome to show and tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no, where'd he go? No one move. He has a family. <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is a... Uh, the Amazing Alfie! I am the Amazing Alfie! <laughs> For my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear! <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> now we're we gonna get Eugenie now! Oh no! This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait, where did she go? Where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids, inside now. We have to get to Alfie. He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back. Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear. Of course not, silly. I've just been hanging out in here. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Alfie made it. I was worried sick about you. And you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my baby. <gasps> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. <laughs> Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. 
we'll be accused of black magic. That's right. And you said he was nice. However, he's disgusting and sticky. <laughs> You're right. Let's go party. <laughs> 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 Oh, man, that's not fair. Look what you did. You ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazop. Magic, make those bushes stop. It was awesome. The bushes were like poof. And the kids were like, ah, but I saved the day. Watch. Alakazam, Alakazee. Magic, help me move that tree. Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive. It really is magic. That's it. Here we are. <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. needs a little solo time. Rush me <laughs> up! Oh, yay. Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat mm -hmm. flap? Uh, well, technically... And why are there bird doors? Because generally, people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure it did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me. Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, uh, Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stone, see this! Look, you kid! The marathon is starting! Let's kick! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. <laughs> Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. 
I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave. Uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure. I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. What's he doing in that hole? Why does he just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh. <laughs> Should have done this months ago. Uh. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. 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 What do you want? What are you doing down there? I... Lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow. It's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. Sam! Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with your alone time. Me. Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> what did you stop, Fluff? Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up! Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget! I know, Fluff. I forgive you. We found an awesome bone wash! Okay, great! I'll leave it right here for you, Wash! Jeannie, Susie, come here, girls. Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? Hey! I have to get out of here. Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah. <laughs> But we gotta dig! Lucky, lucky. It is you! Are you snooping? Shh! 
Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop. But don't touch anything. We're coming. Washington? No dig. No dig. Bad boy. We've got a digger. Digger, reveal yourself. Oh, and my kittens are missing. You've got to find them. Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where. I need help. <laughs> I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. Nugget, I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine. <laughs> okay guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! Just need a little break. Whoa! This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help! No! First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please, Washington. <laughs> okay, guys, get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Anybody smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Uh, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great, you smell gross. 
Can't you smell your stink? No, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret thanks to Sam's stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! A roll of toilet paper. No! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. <laughs> Ooh, that is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's... it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But... but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scuttle Bunt. Before we. <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe. You look all tense. Let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, no, hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's steak is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Oh, oh, yeah! Eugenie, Susie, what's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. No! <laughs> 
Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... Whoa, that stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. <laughs> Sam, you smell fantastic. <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> Time for our wedding dance dream boat. <laughs> yeah, smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew, that's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Get it. Hey, get over. Good kitty. No, no. The whole city loves me much too much! Please, Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet! I'll do anything! Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. That ought to do it. You sure? <laughs> okay. Maybe you need a dry clean. That ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger. Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty. Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. Does she see us? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. <laughs> Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross. <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. Oh. From now on, you can call me Sam Millinera. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Weird. All dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See, Washington? Like this! <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh, What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on it, you're... Okay, maybe not. No! Ah! <sighs> uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. <laughs> well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? Really? Of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. Huh? After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, I'm even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far. Lots of cows. Oh. We'll probably never see you again. <laughs> what? If only we could help you wag. Uh oh, he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask. Uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of. Yeah, something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes, a dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. This is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we wag. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? 
It's fun when you beg. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. No, no, no. Not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left, right and left, right and left. I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry, you're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes! <gasps> I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Owl. He's worse off than we thought. Washington is wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor, what's wrong with him? Oh, ah. Now look what you've done. This is all your fault. The vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam! It's a cat toy filled with catnip! It's for cats! Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You can whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Rush is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <gasps> care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. Yeah. 
<laughs> we may not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? Uh, hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. <laughs> See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Ah, 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 ah. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys. I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You. Nope, nope. I double dare you. If you don't accept, you must obey my every other command for a week. Oh, ouch. Sorry, I didn't make the rules. Fine. <laughs> You're so talented at belly dancing. <laughs> 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 okay, I dare you to uh -huh. act like a crazy monkey running through the house. No, <laughs> that's outrageous. I won't do it. Okay, fine. Then I double dare you. No, still not going to Too happen. Bad for you because I triple dog dare you. No way out. <gasps> a triple dog dare? A triple dog dare is infamous for the sole reason that you cannot back down from it. A triple dog dare must be carried out. What an excellent game! Yeah, and fun, too. When do we start? Dummies. Uh-oh, we've lost track of time. We've got to get some work done. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> One more round? I mean... I triple dog dare you. No way out. <sighs> so many emails. <laughs> I dare you to... <laughs> Tight rope across the yard. <laughs> you just did. Kidsville, if you ask me. I mean, if you want to do something truly daring, I've got something really good for you. Okay, I dare you to sneak up on Fluffy and Nugget and pull their tail. Fun is fun, but I don't... I 
double dare you. Which means if you don't accept, you have to obey my every other command for a week. We accept. <laughs> we. Did you do it? Uh -huh. It was awesome. Yeah, you're right. That was way more daring. Oh, what a rush. Another dare, another dare. Well, if you insist, I double dare you to. Hmm, those shoes look really comfortable. Hmm. Aw, Sammy, who's a good cat? <laughs> Yes, you are my Sammy. Darn computer! <laughs> I double dare you to scare the rat pack in the alley. <laughs> I double dare you to <laughs> Wow, aren't you cute? Thank you, ladies. I double dare you to <laughs> of danger. I double dare you too. <laughs> oh man, we can't keep up. Sadness. <laughs> double rush. I don't know. That wasn't so fun. Yeah, we couldn't do a single one of those dares. Another dare! Please, another dare! Yeah. I dare you to unzip out of your costumes and mime behind that cop out there. We could get caught. And then it's back to the woods for us. Forget it. This one's too dangerous. Yep. I knew you weren't tough enough. <sighs> I guess I'll just have to double dare you. Washington? Nope. Nuh uh. Not gonna do it. Oh. Hmm, I... Ah, don't do it! Triple dog dare you. A triple dog dare is infamous for the sole reason that you cannot back down from it. Ah! Ah! Come on, Sam. Let's do it. This we can do. Thank goodness we watch Monday Night Mimes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you look like that movie star Rick Rocket? <laughs> I get that all the time, but I'm actually a little taller, dude. Really? I mean, the resemblance is just uncanny. <laughs> I noticed it just as soon as I stopped you. <laughs> Although I might be able to let you walk with just an autograph. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> hey guys, ciao time! Huh? There's Vic, but where's everyone else? A fox and a wild boar! Uh -oh. What are you two little forest creatures doing out here? I better get you two back to the woods. 
Oh no. Oh no. I never thought this is getting way out of control. Watch your speed, Rick Rocket. And thanks for the autograph. No, oh, no. What do we do? Uh, uh, uh. Honey, what if those wild animals have taken our pets? Uh -huh. Maybe we ought to call animal control. Vic, you gotta stop her from making that call. If you don't, we'll have animal control all over the place. It'll be a nightmare. We can still fix this. You can fix this. Vic, I triple dog dare you. <laughs> Victoria, that's not a toy. Victoria, that's not a toy. Victoria, give me my... <laughs> Get back to the house. What's gotten into you? <laughs> wow, you're back. Let's make some treats to celebrate. <laughs> With a rhubarb pie? Victoria! Rhubarb! No! <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get. Yeah, triple dog dares to never dare again. Oh, yes, I triple cat accept. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today is the day! Wiener Fest! <laughs> we won't be back until late! Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh -huh. We have the house to ourselves all day! Huh? I call dibs on the couch! No way! And Wash, I'm counting on you to be my watchdog, okay? <laughs> okay, boy. Scare away all those burglars. Burglars? For real? Like on TV? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Nap time. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Nap time! Bro. Are you two nuts or what? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Wash, go away! And if I find you, you're a big, fat, rotten pistol sprout! Sorry, Sam. I've got to focus. What? Oh, come on! You're gone for hours! This is our chance! Yeah, well, that was before Mr. Livingstone asked me to protect the house from burglars. No. Uh, burglars? You mean like on TV? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Burgers? Are we scared of burgers now? Duh! You... Burglars! Like thieves who go into houses and steal people's stuff. There have been a bunch of burglaries in the neighborhood. Thieves have been stealing all the pet squeak toys. Their kibble. But most of all, the TV set! Sam, I'm the watchdog. I've got 
this. <laughs> Watchdog, you? You think you could protect this house with your ridiculous bark? First of all, I've made some major progress with my barks. And second, I know how it's done. I've seen watchdogs on TV. All I have to do is make the rounds and secure the perimeter. Wow, he is like so brave. I want to be a watchdog too. Let's go watch TV and see how it's done. Shall we get some popcorn first? All right. Nobody in here. <coughs> Nobody here either. Nobody here either. So there's burglars trying to get into the house and there's no reason we should be worried? Of course there's no reason to be worried. Wash is here to protect us. Mm -hmm. Unusual in here. Wash, it was just a joke. There haven't been any burglaries in the neighborhood. Did you say something? <sighs> Nothing in here. Nothing like a good burglar movie. But I'm still waiting to find out how you secure a perimeter. <laughs> Rest easy, guys. Nobody's in there. Find the house keys. Didn't you put them in my purse? Mm -hmm. You didn't. I, I did. I left the keys in the door. We're locked out. Maybe just maybe the door isn't completely closed. Maybe it will open all by itself. Friends, I have secured the perimeter. There isn't a burglar alive who'll be able to break in here. Ah! Someone is trying to get into the house! If you hadn't secured the perimeter, I'd even say it sounds like a... A burglar! A burglar? Wait a sec, this may all be a mistake. I'm going to try all my keys, you never know. <laughs> may, may, maybe it's just a visitor. Who are the living stones? Let's look through the mail slot. How to... Of course you know! Do it like you learned on TV! I'll help you! Well, um, I secured the perimeter, but uh, I don't know what comes next. Bark, Wash, bark! That's what watchdogs do! But I don't know how to bark! You said so yourself! I take back everything I said! Please bark! Pretty please! Make those horrible burglars go away! Go, go away, Washington! Washington. Do, do it, it, please! <laughs> ah! not a watchdog, but I am going to protect you. Listen up. Here's what we're going to do. You guys are going to go by and I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to try the kitchen door. Maybe if I can wiggle through the cat flap, I'll be able to reach the key. Oh. Yeah! What happened to you? 
You know, I really wish you'd start putting your tools away. Do we keep flour in the bedroom? Uh, okay. Let's try the bathroom. <laughs> ah! oh. oh, why, oh, why did I put all my bath stuff above the window? be a watchdog, but I sure know a thing or two about watching TV. No. No, Wash. Calm down now. Calm down. It's me. You can't believe a burglar. He's imitating Mr. L's voice, so we'll let him in. Get in through the front door, and Washington didn't even recognize me. And I gotta tell you, his bark is freaking me out. <sighs> big problems require big solutions. Hello, Mr. Locksmith. Well, those stupid burglars won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh, who's the greatest watchdog? Watchdog. Who's the greatest watchdog? Not good. The burglars have brought backup. Yeah, that was some major tools to open the door. No! Only one thing left to do. Eugenie, Sam, we gotta zip out of our costumes. <laughs> what? The burglars won't expect to see wild animals in the house. If we can scare them, then we're home free. Me too. I'm gonna take off my costume. Did you open the door? How much do we owe you? Forget it! It's free! As long as you promise to never call me again! The living stills are back! Quick! <laughs> Darlings, we're home! Good dog, good dog. What a great watchdog you are, Washington. Unbelievable. I almost wonder if he didn't understand when I told him to protect the house. Oh, no. Beware of dog. I never realized what a great watchdog Wash is. It's only fair to warn intruders they don't stand a chance around here. <laughs> Did you hear that, Vic? Beware of dog! So, who was it that said I was no watchdog, huh? Honey, you coming? We're gonna be late. Coming, dear. Taco Fest, here we come. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Oh, huh? no, they're in danger. 
danger. We gotta do something. Absolutely. You're gonna help them. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Was too close. Thanks, Vic. I never doubted you for a second. Not even for a second. Not for a single second. Vicky! <laughs> kitty! Vicky Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> Vicky Kitty! Hey, Vic! Wait for me! <laughs> That's ridiculous. We didn't come from over there. We came from over there. Everybody knows that cats have an excellent sense of direction. Please, you're an alley cat. As if you know which way to go. You can't even decide how to run for your life. Guys, don't fight. I can smell civilization in that direction. No way, it came from back that way. Nuh-uh, it was that way. Everybody shush it. You shush it. We gotta dig our way out, I'm telling you. We need to start digging our way out of here. You heard me, dig. I say we just run, anyway, as long as we're not here. Hello, lovely. I knew you'd come back. How about we ditch these dweebs and run off to Paris? <laughs> Everybody stick together and follow me! Washington! I'm coming for you! Oh, 
mind if I did. Hello, dolphins. Gotcha! So I'm right behind you. And that's right where you'll stay. <laughs> oh, poor guy. The dogs are such oops. We gotta run our feet forward at the same time in the same direction. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh oh, not so fast, my little rodent friend. That year's supply of pet food is mine. Ciao, ciao! <laughs> Wow, 
This sausage is definitely the worst to ever walk the earth. <laughs> you did it, boy! We won! Uh, not exactly. The rules clearly state. The first animal to cross the finish line wins. This year's supply of pet food goes to... The goldfish! You did it, little fishy! You did it! We won! <laughs> well, we all know who the real winner is. Us! You guys are the best! Yeah? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is here. Okay, any minute now, Mr. L will come out and we'll have our morning chase. Hi. Yeah. Good morning, Birdie. Good morning, little bunny rabbit. Good, you're up. I'm waiting for my morning cat bath. Oh yeah, that's the spot. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think you really were a cat. I didn't say mm -hmm. stop. Well, well, well. Look who's ready for our morning paper chase. Hmm, we're not done, Sam. You still gotta do the inside of my ears. Sometimes I think dogs have more fun. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> See, dogs have more fun. Thirsty. Washington, I've been thinking. Ah, oh, be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bad things happen when you do that. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't seem quite fair that when we chose costumes, you got to be the dog. You get to have all the fun. Sam, being a cat is just as great as being a dog. Everyone knows that. Right, then you won't mind switching with me. You can be the cat for a while and I'll be the dog. <laughs> Sam, being a dog is no longer just a role for me. It's a whole thing. We can't just suddenly switch like like that. Huh? That's weird. Where's Sam? I'm always the first one up. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! Yeah? Arf! Arf! Huh? Sam! What are you doing? You're gonna get us what all- What incredibly clever dog has my morning paper? Mm -hmm. It's all over! We're done for! Arf! 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 Uh... Wait! Sam is you? It's an opposite day already? No, not for another two months. But yeah, Sam's decided to be me. Oh, how fun! Yeah. Wait, what? No, not fun. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> oh no, game over. Any second now, the elves will realize that he's not me. <laughs> so far, it doesn't seem like they've noticed anything different. Nothing at all. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Say, this is crazy. You don't know what you're doing. Trust me, being a cat is cake compared to being a dog. Hmm. Nice game, uh. boy. I know what Washington says. He says so many things. True, but it would be super fun to switch costumes. We can't. Yes, let's do it. Wash, now that you're the other cat around here besides me, you're going to have to act like one. Huh? Yeah, right. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my morning cat bath, and we're way behind schedule. Ha! Ah, no way! Nuh -uh. Nope, not gonna happen. Never, ever. How strange. <laughs> Weird. Sam, what's wrong, huh? You always clean Vic this time of day. Are you sick? Do you need the vet? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you could stop. <laughs> oh my Washington! Go on, boy. Go ahead and play with your friends. Go on. Whoa, I met the dog folk. So this is what it feels like. Hey there, Washington. Hey, <laughs> guys. How's it going? Everything cool? Smells like him. Must be him. Wash, so, uh, how's that Mrs. L? Getting any home cooking table scraps these days? Oh, yes. She makes the most delicious little pastas and dessert that makes your heart sing. Sometimes she makes the cutest little cookies that make you wanna... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. What about you, dogs? Ah, uh, you know, chasing cats all around town. You know, the usual. Ugh, you're definitely not a very good cat, Washington. Do it the same way Sam does it, like a cat. <laughs> Gross, being a cat is a lot harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh, don't look now, Wash, but uh, here comes your little friend, Trouble. Washington, this is for you. Let that be a lesson to you. So much drama when you're a dog. How exciting! Nope, we're not done napping. You're gonna have to act like a cat if you want the L's to believe you. That's it! Enough! I can't stand it! I need to run around! Do something instead of napping all the time. Fetch a ball, go on a walk. Cats don't do that. Well, I do, and I can't go another day cleaning you. Yeah, well, I agree. You're pretty terrible at it. <laughs> yeah, I can use my natural energy and remarkable imagination to show Sam what an awesome time I'm having being a cat. He'll see how much fun it is, and we'll want to switch back. Easy. That's your big plan. It's all I got. Here's what I'm gonna do. You guys are on the front set, you're gonna find out. That's my wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing with my cat toys. It's so much fun, better than any dog game. 
Wow, I love this cat scratching post. It's the best thing ever. I don't want to be a dog ever again. Being a cat is the best. The best. <laughs> oh no, Sam! The girls are in danger. You gotta save them. <clears throat> You're a dog. That's what dogs do. Go! Save them! Mm -hmm. I told you, being a dog is a high-pressure role. Us cats have to stay here and act scared. Hurry, they need you. Better. A little stretched out, but it's good to be back in my regular costume. <laughs> what about the girls? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Rescued? <Ooh>. Rescued. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> I never want to be a dog again. It's too hard having to be you, Washington. Yeah, this fits me much better. Yo, by the way, I met a girl at the dog park. I think she meant to give you this. Oh, <laughs> oh Wash, you're such a dog. Thanks, Vic. Hey, no worries. I had to get Sam back. You were a terrible cat, and I gotta have my daily cat bath in the morning. <laughs> Come on, I wasn't that bad. Pretty bad. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <gasps> I can't see anything except rain. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash. Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you Kidding. We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. And my nuts would fill with rainwater. Me, I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. No wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! Mercy, not as young as I used to be. Is this fun for you? Because it is not fun for me. 
Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? What are you? Honey, help! What's the matter? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're yeah. in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be back. Good Good Let's right. all go together. I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors, like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington? <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? This ottoman can use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner, tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. <laughs> Uh, not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> this is a mess. Is that a bone? <sighs> Sam, what are you eating? No, <clears throat> no. It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No way, it's too tight. I need bathroom. 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 Stop! You can't fit in there. Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain! You've gone crazy! <laughs> Bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! <laughs> you know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait! This is where the humans go. 
I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't. It's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. Great. You can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? <laughs> no, that can't be right. <laughs> How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? <sighs> Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right because I don't see how humans can use this room at all. Some privacy. <laughs> Go take a hike. No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't just go out in the open like this. I can't do this to food. No. Oh. How can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice! I can't hold it anymore! Wash? Washington? But what are you doing, boy? Just look at that! That's amazing! This little fellow just learned how to go by himself now! What a clever dog! This really deserves a photo, dear! Sure it does! <laughs> See you later, boy! And don't forget to flush when you leave! <laughs> ah, free at last! And it's a beautiful day now! Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain! Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. Hmm. Sam, 
Less weird bear, more cat. Better, now stretch. Good, stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow. Hey, you two, bug up. Catnam is for real cats. I'm a real cat. Don't. The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, what? <laughs> it's our birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to come. <laughs> Sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True. But we need more indoor pads with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having cheat cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. Huh? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away. Let them come. More presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! Oops. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. We're gonna have shit cake. Do we get presents too? What about ice cream? Saddle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. <laughs> Ready? And lift! <laughs> Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! Winner gets extra birthday cake! Yeah. <laughs> Victoria! You okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pure Class? <sighs> Nice. 
nice throne! Huh? Maybe we want it! Little birdie talk big, but can you afford it? Um, how about one tiny second? you think, Sam? Yes, I mean it. It's almost done. Ta -da! Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! 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 Lovely, I'm leaving for bingo. Don't fight! I'll be home soon! It's party time! Even more boring than last year. And that already was quite a challenge. I hope they love it! Well, it sounds perfect. Uh... <laughs> For you, neighbors! Oh, we'll take that. Get yeah, yeah. Box which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away, get it out of here. <laughs> we hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Got this, you just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it's your birthday, it's customary. Fix it. Huh? Ah! Ah! Please, we just want to. Troublemakers, three crazed cats. Come on, let's get them. Where are they? Did they go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah. Sam, let's go now. <laughs> It was just a little joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> you owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic.
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Is this the life or what? Seriously, can you imagine if we were still in the wild? <laughs> Sleeping out in the cold, scavenging for food. Hey, where's Fick? She usually rains on our parade about now. Don't you see, Bobby? Your favorite food is eggs, and I'm allergic to eggs. We can never be together. <laughs> I don't believe in love anymore. <laughs> Guys, Fix getting all worked up over a stupid soap opera. <sighs> well, I've got better things to do. I think I'll go chase a flying saucer. Let's go, Wash! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Washington, you are wearing me out, buddy. Arf, 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 arf. All right, one more. Flying saucer, flying saucer, flying saucer! <laughs> That's our cue. Inside, everyone. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> oh no, my suit. I've got to get it back before someone sees me naked. Hey, you, Fox. <laughs> Quick, I need your help. Darling, before I met you, I was nothing more than an ordinary brain surgeon with an evil twin brother that stole my family's fortune. But now, I'm a man in love. Huh, why are you looking at me like that? Huh? I said, why are you looking at oh. me like that? Never mind, just help me hide. Hide? From what? <gasps> <laughs> I could have sworn I saw that pesky fox dart this way. Don't worry, they won't have a clue we're back here. What? What a beautiful ficus! Wow, yeah, but we better roll. What did you do to make those guys chase after you? Nothing. I just dug around in some trash cans and the humans got all mad. Oh, domesticated people are the worst. Well, actually, worse than a domesticated person is a domesticated animal. They are the absolute worst. Uh, you don't say. Yeah, they just lay around all soft and flabby, letting humans boss them around. Disgusting, right? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> My name's Meadow, by the way. Thanks for saving me. Anytime. I'm Washington. Well, Washington, I guess this means you're my hero, huh? Uh, uh, Honey? Oh. Have you seen the dog? I'll go check outside. Uh oh, <laughs> humans! That's my cue. Wait! Will I ever see you again? Maybe here, tomorrow, for dinner? It's a date. <sighs> I hope this feeling never goes away. You better scram too before that human and a stupid dog get here. Oh, I hate dogs, gross. <laughs> yep, that feeling went away. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me not. What is wrong with you, flower? Loves not, loves not, loves not, loves not. Ah! Seems like you're pretty anxious about this girl, huh, pal? How can you tell? Just a feeling. It's hopeless. I can't keep up this charade. Once Meadow figures out I'm domesticated, she'll hate me. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, buddy. Can I say something here? I know, I know. You love that this is blowing up in my face. No, I was gonna say, don't give up. I mean, come on. 
You can't keep up this charade. Give me a break. You're the king of charades. Why are you being so nice to me? Uh, look, I don't like it either, but I need something to make me believe in love again, okay? Okay. Oh. Actually, you know, you're right. I'm me. Let's do this! Yeah. I think I see her. Hurry! How's the makeup coming, Susie? Yeah, he needs to look like he's been out fighting in the wild. Yep, just one more touch. <laughs> We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Ah! Actually, that looks incredible. I know. Okay, to your positions, everyone. Hello there. Wow. Hi. What happened to your face? Eh, got in a fight with another wild animal. I think it was a bear. Oh, I wonder how that bear got ketchup all over his paws. Well, I'm starving. I think I'll go use my wild animal foraging instincts and rustle up some grub. Be right back. Take it. Go, go, go! Dinner is served. Where did you get all that? No big deal. Just found some berry bushes and a couple nut... trees? Oh, I love nuts and berries. Me too. I eat them in front of the TV all the time. Oh. TV? What are you talking about? And what are these? Uh, uh, candy almonds? From a candy almond tree? Uh, well, I... Uh... Huh. Love hangs in the balance. We need to go right to the finale. You are acting very weird. Me? No, I'm not. How am I acting? Flying saucer! Flying saucer! Flying saucer! <laughs> Yee-hee! What is going on? Look, the truth is, I'm... I... A wolf? No, I'm... Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, right! A wolf! Don't be afraid. I'll defend you with my wild beast defense skills. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> You're so brave. It's working. Love has a fighting chance. Hey, all right, we got him. Never seen a wolf this deep in the city before. Oh, no. Glad we spotted him before he did any harm. I've got to stop them. Are you crazy? Don't go after those psychos to save a wolf. If they see a wild fox, they'll throw you in the van, too. You're right. But if I was a domesticated animal... What is that? I'm very sorry. I've been lying to you. I don't have an evil twin brother. I am the evil twin brother. Huh? No. Your mustache was the thing I loved most. Meadow, the truth is... While I'm a fox, I'm not a wild fox anymore. In fact, lately, I've been living life as... a domesticated dog. What is that? I know you'll never want to see me again. I'm sorry. Love doesn't exist. What was that? Oh, look, an adorable dog! Ah, Where did you come from, little wolf, guy? Wolf, check his collar for an address. Yes, it's Washington. He's distracting them for us. Quick, Susie, grab the keys. Got them. Oh, he wants to shake hands. No, no. Get it! 
<laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. We're goners. But I'm too cute to be a goner. Too cute. Love is dead. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm a friend of Washington's. Now let's get you guys out of here. I believe in love. I believe in love. <laughs> <laughs> Meadow, what are you doing here? Well, I wanted to make sure your friends got back safe. They're pretty cool animals, although the bird seems a little weird. Yeah, she's special. Actually, the real reason I'm here is to say, I used to think domesticated animals were soft. But after I saw what you did for your friends, I realized I was wrong. So maybe, if it's okay with you, we could have dinner again sometime. Yeah? I mean, uh, sure. That'd be cool. Okay, great. It's a date. Maybe you could pick some more food from that candy almond tree. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hmm? What's that? Huh? <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Shh! Don't make a peep. A little more to the right. The best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. 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 Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> show me. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more. Uh -huh. Now 
Not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong mm. way! Mm. Help me! No! Oh, I sorry, I mean. Ah, now I'm thirsty. You guys have a lake I can drink? What? Rah! <laughs> Tiny lake. Gross. What? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> <sighs> yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, uh, help me. Uh, uh. Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. She doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. Get them. So cute. Papa Boo Boo. Honey, I think they're trying to tell us something. Arf, no! arf, 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 wolf. Wolf, 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 arf. Oh, oh, baby ate everybody's food. <laughs> ha! Here we go. He's out of here. And it's all. Our fault. We should have left more food for him. Baby's going on a growth spurt. Aww, Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> Come on, Bush, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, I've uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. <laughs> it's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony, together. I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house, except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Uh, help me. <laughs> You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more 
delicious treats? Our butt scratches or tummy rubs. Isn't there anything we can do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Mm. Oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you? Ouch! Oh, you really gonna get it now, you stupid! So fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it. Oh. <sighs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're going to take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Phew. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's like a fluffy cloud, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh, honey, should we let them in the bed? Hmm. Victoria's already here. Don't you think one is enough? But look how sad they are. Fine. All <gasps> aboard! <laughs> A little to the left, Washington. Uh, that's my arm, Sam. You can't sleep in my shirt, Eugenie. Okay. Come on. Good night. I was here first. Does that mean anything these days? Now, Vic, there's plenty of room. Just bend at the right angle and don't breathe. Too much. My tail isn't a sleep mask, Sam. It works good. Go roll in some mud. <laughs> I had a dream that I was falling. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream. That's okay. I often dream I'm flying.
Good morning, sunshine. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wait, honey. I'm going to prepare you another coffee. Is Mr. L okay? Hmm. The last time I saw him acting this weird was when Mrs. L told him her mother was coming to visit. Uh, hey, I must leave for work now. Bye, dear. I'm leaving for something. Hey, did the door shrink? Huh, can't be good. Where does he go every day? The park, silly. Bye-bye, honey. Have a nice day. Only one pet is allowed to sleep in the bed. Okay, honey. We'll try it your way. Only one pet in the bed? <laughs> First one there wins. <laughs> yes! I win! Fair and square. I win. looks a lot less scary in that big bed. I'm sure Vic will understand. It's a thunderstorm. Uh, I don't think so. I think she'll be really... <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh, that's it! Everybody down! Look at them! They're frightened! <laughs> But just for Yay! tonight. This was supposed to be my night, you bunch of fake furs. about a rude awakening. get them thrown off my human's huh? bed. Uh, deal. Spot stealers, I'll show you. <laughs> hmm. Please. <laughs> she forgot we're protected by a shield of fake fur. Almost like superheroes. <laughs> An intruder with itching powder? No, it's even worse! Please! All right, you flea bags. There's no way I'm gonna let you ruin my night ever again. First, a great big dip in the flea bath. Hose them off, darling. There you go, Sam. Go and get dry now. Now it's bath time for Bunny. All righty, dear, your turn. You can say goodbye to your parasites, Eugenie. Now go dry off with Sam. And now for the leader of the pack. A good spring cleaning to get rid of these invaders. The most infested of them all. There you go, Washington. Susie? Uh, amazing. She's going all by herself. Sorry, guys. You'll have to stay in there all day until the flea dip takes effect. Relax and dry off. I hope we're all less itchy tonight. Yeah, get comfy, guys. I'll be inside on the bed some more. By myself. <laughs> you may have won this round, Victoria, but just wait. As soon as we dry off and get released, you are toast, lady. Toast? Toast? 
If you mean warm and dry and loved by all, yes, I am. Ha! See ya. Are they dry yet? Mr. and Mrs. L will be getting home. <laughs> code red! We got a code red! Everything all... Uh-huh. Meow? Did I just... Oh. Never mind. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Come on out, guys. <laughs> this isn't working. I can't see a thing. Come on. Ooh. Give them one more chance. No, honey. They're just too dirty. Let's face it. Victoria is the only one who grooms herself on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> A lady always keeps her boudoir clean. Meow. Wait, I have an idea. This will never work. It doesn't stink enough. If only someone around you had a stinky litter box. Sam, what have you been eating? Anything. Now, we just need to make it look like it came from Victoria's box. Tracked cat litter all over the bed. Get out of here. Oh, what a crazy. <coughs> oh, well, might as well join them. It's a little chilly in here. I'm going to give you a blanket so you don't get cold. Find some nice cool mud to sleep in. Good idea. Fly that boar flag. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I didn't wake up. What, Sam? I was having a dream. <laughs> huh? huh? Shh! I know. Shh. Uh, just need some water. Hey, guys. <gasps> ah! Whew, that was close. What a beautiful night. Let's sleep on the chairs. <laughs> That's enough. Win some, lose some. Come on, Dick. There's plenty of room here. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Instinct. 
I just can't help it. <laughs> oh. Well, so long, Sam's tail. <sighs> it's nap time anyway. <laughs> 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 Sam? Where did he go? Here I am! <laughs> well, I bet a fox can always sniff out a boar. In the wild they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nasty. Hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum yums? Wow! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Sam! <laughs> Sam! Your tail! It's missing! <laughs> Who's hungry? We gotta do something! <laughs> Honey! Are you seeing this? Yes, dear! <laughs> wow! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> My tail! My beautiful fat tail! Calm down! You still have your whiskers and your paws! But what happens if the living stones see? Well, worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Relax! I'm kidding! Okay, they can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam. Washington? Uh, uh what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. Ooh. Is it a hot dog? A dead flower? I oh, know, it's a U turn. It's a tail. Sam's tail, long, blue, uh -huh. covered with fur. Ah, sure. We'll get it. Sorry, Victoria. Uh What's happened? Wow! Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano! Hey, Victoria, have you by any chance seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No. Well, let's go for it, Sam! <laughs> Fluffy, no! Hey! At least we found it. Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam! Wake up, man! But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown. Which is why we have to get it back. No! Oh, you've gone soft. Lost your touch. Fallen off your game. Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this fur sleeve. Because the sun is shining and it's a brand new day. To the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Okay, step one of Operation Tail infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Mm -hmm. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes. This is what ninjas do. <laughs> oh. Washington! 
again. Just thought I would stop by. <laughs> Your, uh, thing looks very nice. What, this? You really like it? Oh, yeah. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, you could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. Glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really liked that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah? You know, with the stripes. <laughs> I don't think so. You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, you said you... Ah! Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> a giant talking sock! Ah! Wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay, jump on my back. Are you sure? Just go. Roll! Figure us out. Didn't you tell them they could stop looking? I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here. It flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean all cats? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail. I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're gonna help us. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll uh, take the stairs. Huh? Oh. Wow. Okay, let's go. You sure? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Ha ha! Hey! Hey! Victoria! Okay, they need me. It's abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. We did it, Washington. We did it. I can't believe it. Uh, I mean, I knew we could, dumb cats. Hello. Uh, I hope, too. You're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend. And all that matters is that 
I'm the one who got your tail back. <laughs> oh. Wait! Switch the tails! <laughs> oh, Washington. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? Oh no, when I left he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on. It must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. Hmm. I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm. You might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. Hmm? Here. Perfect. Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds. And not a moment too soon. We're going to be late. Have a good day, Furbacks. That includes you, Washington. Shake a leg, boy. Just act perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Coast clear? Mm -hmm. What's up, Earthlings? Hmm. I'm starving. <laughs> Next up, a hamster who paints. If I, I must, must, I, I must. must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> yeah. ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape. Naked. What? What's gonna happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We don't. What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on, trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. Where is 
is it? Where is it? Go! Oh, got it! Plan activated! Hmm, that looks comfy! Wash set to focus! I'm trying. Cretinous Cretan! Uh, <laughs> okay, Vic, we're good. Dreaded Phil Taxi! Again, uh, thank you. You're done. OMG! No! Washington, run! <laughs> Well, hello. What nice pets you are. Too nice if you ask me. <laughs> did you guys do something naughty? Did you? I bet you did. Well, why don't we see for ourselves, dear? <laughs> <laughs> what in the... Oh, my oh, goodness. No. How, How did a wild, wild fox get, get in, in here? here? But wait, look, look. They fought him off. They fought him off. Look at Victoria. <gasps> Our little heroes! But wait, where's Washington? 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 Washington! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Good evening, neighbors! Excuse me, you're probably eating dinner, but a wild fox has our dog! I repeat, a wild fox has our dog! Please help! Get the wild fox! And enjoy your dinner! Thank you! Letting you out of our sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I know. Washington's out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! Huh? I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> oh no, Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's huh? only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. Huh? 
But that's dealing dirty. Washington! 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 Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. Washington! It's me! Hello, me? Uh, it's me, dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! We were so worried. Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> 